In today's episode of Kibuka Podcast, we hear about the incredibly fast spread of the genocide against the Tutsi throughout the country. The military, the gendarmerie, and Inderamni are all mobilized and work together to track and kill Tutsis with no exceptions. <laughs> April 8, 1994. Genocide was spread throughout the country, the military and Inheramwe exterminating Tutsis. Soldiers of the Presidential Guard and the Inheramwe joined forces to kill the Tutsis who lived in Yamirambo. On April 8, 1994, Inheramwean soldiers killed Tutsis in Yamirambo in various places where they had taken refuge, in particular at the Catholic parish of St. Charles Rwanga, the convent of the Josephite Brothers and at the St. André College. On the same day, the Inerangwe began to massacre the Tutsis who had taken refuge at the Catholic parish of Ruhuha in Bujesera. The massacres in Taba commune in former Jitarama prefecture began on April 8, 1994. The Inerangwe installed roadblocks at various locations including Gwabashasha, Vuguri, Jisheshe, and around the Remera Hospital in Rukoma. Kubgima and Siras, chairman of MRND in Taba Commune, a very influential person, organized a meeting in Chidya Mochinzovu and declared that Tutsis are the enemy, that they must be denounced. He continued the lie that the Tutsi had dug pits into which they were going to throw the bodies of all Hutus. Since April 8th, the Tutsis had been gradually brought to Chidya Mochinzovu, which now bears the nickname CND to be massacred there. Kubgima Nasiras was the head of the killers and coordinated massacres. It was he who designated who should die. Kill this one, save the other, and I will kill the other myself later. The killers came to the commune to wait for Kubgimana's orders to go and kill. Many Tutsis came to take refuge at the commune, but found there were Inerahamni who were waiting for them and who had received instructions to bring them to Chirja Mochinzovu to be massacred. Some of them had been designated to be killed, while others were to bury the bodies of the victims huddled in a long ditch. The weapons used to kill them were clubs, hoes, and guns. Burgumestre Mouvidjian Napoleon of Kamembe Commune had Tutsis killed at the parish of Nganga. In the old Kamembe Commune, currently in Usizi district, Tutsis were killed in the parish of Nganga. In the Kamembe Commune and in the locality of Usekanga, from April 8th, the Tutsis began to take refuge in the parish of Nganga because the massacres and the burning of the houses had started in Jitkwa and Murambi. The Tutsis took refuge in the parish of Nganga because they had become used to finding a safe refuge there and that the mayor of Kamembe commune, Mourijja Napoleon, had declared that the Tutsis had to go take refuge in the parish and even sent police to protect them. But that was not what he wanted. He had wanted to know how many Tutsis they were and to prevent them from fleeing to Zaire. Burgmestre Mubirijja Napoleon and the parish priest of Nganga, Jirinshuti Tade, organized a meeting with the leaders of Inhera Hamge of Kamembe commune and planned the extermination of the Tutsi. The day after, the Inhera Hamge attacked the Tutsis and killed them with grenades. Clubs called Nambonga no Yumganzi, that's to say, merciless, machetes, sword and other various weapons. So that the Tutsis could not defend themselves during the attack, Father Njirishuti Tade had taken from the Tutsis all the weapons, spears, machetes, sticks, bows and arrows, which they had carried with them, and said to them, all refugees must not carry weapons. He wanted to take away all their defense. The police officers who were supposed to protect them had in a room that was made available to them by the parish priest numerous rifles and grenades which were then used by Inerahamni, who came to kill the Tutsis. In Kamembe commune, 60 Tutsis who had taken refuge there were killed. Yusuf Munyakazi and Marcel Sebatkwari, who ran the Simergwe cement factory, exterminated Tutsis who had taken refuge at the factory. In the Rusizi district Moganza sector, Sharasel, in former Ugarama commune, the Tutsis were killed at a place called Specialized Cell. It was a place where the infamous Yusuf Munyakazi was born. The Tutsi in this locality were unable to flee and join others whom they could have confronted the Inheramni and defended themselves, but rather, as of April 8, 1994, were removed from their homes and brought to Semergua to be killed. The Director General of Semergua, Marcel Sewatkwari, 
originally from Muchingo commune and currently residing in Belgium, and Naume Nyumunsi, technical director Jean-Marie Pascal, originally from Rubavu and currently residing in the Netherlands, had drawn up a list of Tutsis who were employed there and asked other employees to take them out and give them to Inera Hamni. Among more than 500 staff, this factory employed some 80 Tutsis who were almost all killed, except a few who had escaped before. It was at Simirgua that most terrible roadblocks in Muganza sector was installed in 1994. Many Tutsis were killed in the locality of Buhinga in Changugu. Buhinga is located at the intersection of three main roads from Rusizi, Nyamasheche, and Nyungwe. In Buhinga was installed a barrier guarded by many Inerhamni, including famous Makambira, Damie, Elias Shitani, Satan, Muhutu, who was a teacher, Jitare, and Mujienzi. At this barrier, from April 7, 1994, Tutsis who passed there to pick tea leaves were harassed and beaten. Some of them were stripped naked and ordered to dance in front of their torturers. On April 8, 1994, four Tutsis were killed there. Tutsis, whose houses had not yet been burnt down, began to be massacred. The Inerhamne of Busheri sector began to surround the Tutsis of this locality. The Tutsis from Buruvumbu, Rundgwa and Nyanza cells were also surrounded. All those who were taken were brought to Wuhinga, killed and thrown into the quarry dug in Wuhinga. The Inerhamwe were instructed to kill Tutsis together in large numbers so that they could chase others who were hiding. In this career, some were thrown alive. Some had been injured on their legs and arms so that once in the career, they would not have the strength to rise to the surface and would die in the worst possible way. Colonel Anatol Nsenjumva ordered the soldiers and the Inerhamne to exterminate all Tutsis who were in Yundo, at the minor seminary, at the hospital, in schools, and among the population. On April 7, 1994, Tutsis took refuge in Yundo Seminary and were killed on the same day. On April 8, 1994, the survivors went to the diocese to join others and spent their day fighting against the Inherahamne. A group of killers entered the church with soldiers and killed the Tutsis who had taken refuge there. A priest by the names of Deogracias Tkwaja Yezu was the first to be killed at the minor seminary by Inerahamne from Chibiriri. Among the Inerahamne coordinated Nyundo massacres, there is Nghundabanyanga Fidel, a medical assistant, Kaviriji Stanisilas, a counselor of Muira sector, Mozembi Izimak, mayor of Rubavu commune, and Father Nurie Edward Arias Simba. The latter is imprisoned in Rwanda for the crimes of genocide and was sentenced to life in prison. Colonel Anatoly Senjumva and Lieutenant Colonel Alphonse Nzunjize coordinated the massacres of Tutsis at the Adventist University of Mudende. Part of the Adventist University of Mudende was built in Mudende sector, while the other was built in Mugunga sector, in Mutura commune, Jisenyi prefecture. Currently, it is the Mudende sector in Ubavu district. During the 1994 genocide against the Tutsis, killers began attacking the Tutsi in their homes, which led them to take refuge at the Adventist University, hoping to find a safe refuge there, given that there were foreigners, mostly Americans, who worked there. As they arrived there, an American confiscated their sticks and tried to hide them in different places. At around 3 p.m., a group of killers attacked the university. And before this event, the American rushed to give back the sticks to the Tutsi refugees who tried to defend themselves. Men fought with sticks while women and girls threw stones and bricks. They repelled three attacks and each time killers retreated. On April 8, 1994, the attacks were carried out by a group of soldiers from the Bigogo military camp commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Alphonse Nzunjize. And the acts of violence increased in intensity. They attacked with grenades and by firing numerous bullets, many Tutsis perished. The killers included Rugumestre of Mutura commune, Bichie Jean Berikimas, and other advisors and officials who incited the population to kill the Tutsis. The victims of these massacres at the University of Mudende were buried in dignity at the Kanzenze Memorial in Kanzenze sector. Many Tutsis were killed at Mizingo roadblock in Mutura commune. At Mizingo, and Kanyiravigogo cell in Kanzenze sector in Mutura commune, currently in Mizingo village, Kanyiravigogo cell, Kanzenze sector, there was a roadblock led by Namaherezo, 
president of MRND Mutura Commune. The meetings which planned the genocide were organized at his home. Since the roadblocks were installed in 1990, Namerezo had killed or saved whomever he wanted. At this roadblock, Tutsis were assaulted until around 8 a.m. on April 8, 1994. Many Tutsis were killed there, some of whom had escaped the massacres in the church of Geramana. The Inerami killed many Tutsis in Mashuza, Nyamyumba commune, and at Bradirgwa. On April 8, 1994, at Bradirgwa, 11 truck drivers who had come from different parts of the country to take loads of drinks were killed there. The Inerami took them out of small hotels where they were staying to bring them to Mashuza and kill them. The killers included Msafiri and Sibomana. The bodies of the victims were buried with dignity at Kanzenze Memorial. Tininya is one of the sites where many Tutsis were killed on April 8, 1994. In Tininya sector, nearly 200 Tutsis took refuge at German radio, Dochevele, because they believed they had found a safe refuge. Two days later, soldiers from the Kami military camp asked the management of Dochevele to drive the Tutsis who had taken refuge there from their buildings. The Germans were evacuated and left the guard of their building to their employee named Uimfura Kalixt. After the Germans left by plane, this employee quickly called Adeiner Amgur from Tininya to help him kill the many Tutsis who had taken refuge there. They killed them all and only three survived. In Tininya, before the start of the genocide, there were two renowned Inera Hamge, Uimfura, who had the Tutsis killed at Dojevela Radio, and Chief Warrant Officer Zirimgabagabo, who was the instructor of Inera Hamge. Zirimgabagabo once went to a bar and made his dog test his beer before sharing it with a Tutsi. When the latter refused to drink it, he was beaten to the point that his ribs were broken and became handicapped. Communal police are among those who killed many Tutsis in Tinya. So far, the Tutsis who were killed and buried at the memorial are 441, but others, apparently 77, are missing. At Gatonde, Mugunga sector in Rangeri Prefecture, Tutsis were thrown in Mukunga River. The Tutsis who lived in Mugunga, in the former Gatonde commune near Ndusu, were thrown into the Mukungwa River at the place called Wucheri, near the Vunga shopping center and market. Wucheri is a bridge over the Mukungwa River which connects sectors of Shira, Nyabihu, and Mugunga, Gachenye. From April 8th until April 22nd, 1994, Tutsis were gathered, tied up, and thrown into the Mukungwa River. Their torturers told them that they were sending them to Arusha for peace negotiations. Those who were going to die were gathered on the bridge connecting the Gatonde and Dusu communes. Among those responsible for the massacres, there is Councillor Nsanzobuchire Ernest, Burgumestre Nzeimana Jean Bosco, who directed the MRND in Ndusu commune, Nizeimana Gaspar Elias Kaguta, the assistant prefect Nsanzimana Dismas, the prefect of Ruhengeri Nsanzumuji Shabazil, and Farabaruka, who was a prison guard. Zijiranyira Zopote at the head of those who exterminated the Tutsis of Kesho, Mohanda sector in Gorero commune. On the hills of Kesho, called Ruwaya, there are tea plantations and a tea factory. It was in the former Gaseche commune where the Tutsi Bagogwe, near Mount Bigogwe, at the ends of Ngorero district, defended themselves with stones, spears, until they were killed on April 8, 1994, by the military armed with firearms. Zijiranyira Zoprote, the brother of Agat Kanziga, the wife of President Habdiarimana. The burgomaster of Gaseche commune was Wahande Inyas and Jaribu Anastas, director of Rubaya Tea Factory, coordinated the massacres in this region. Since April 8, 1994, the massacres had spread throughout the country. In Rguangua, in Murambi sector, more than 500 Tutsis were killed by Ineramwe and their neighbors. The killers were led by Councillor Bizimungu Jean, who rounded up the Tutsis and burned them alive. In Chiziguro, in Rukungu, currently in the Temgasel, Chiziguro sector, in just two hours, almost all the Tutsis who lived there had been killed. They were killed by the Inherahamge of Vishenyi and Rukungu, led by Gakwere Alois and Mugunga Manase and other militias from Rugararama and others still sent by Bjansi Valens. On the same day, Tutsis were killed in Kaje, Guamitererisel, Murambi sector, in the center of Rugiro, 
where Tutsis were gathered under the pretext of protecting them, when in reality, they wanted to kill them together. The massacres were planned by Gatete Jean-Baptiste and councillor Mouvana Jerome. Gatete Jean-Baptiste, the former burgomaster of Mulambi commune, was condemned by the ICTR to 40 years in prison. He had been condemned in first instance to life imprisonment. Tutsis were killed at the orphanage in Gatianye cell, Chiramuruzi sector. Many Tutsis had taken refuge in this orphanage, believing they were escaping death, but they were decimated and some of them were brought to Kiziguro church to be massacred. Among the organizers of the massacres was Gatete Jean-Baptiste, who traveled in his car to incite Hutus to kill Tutsis. Councillor Munyabuhoro Pierre Claver and other Inera Hamge who were escorting him and were led by police officers Rusagara and Deon Yonzima. On April 8, 1994, Tutsis who had taken refuge at Mata Tea Factory in Yaruguru region were massacred just like those who had taken refuge on Nyawera Hill, Mwiri Sector, Kayonza District. The same day, Nearly 5,000 Tutsis were taken refuge in the Adventist Church of Chambara, just like those who had taken refuge in Shira Hospital in Rangeri Prefecture, currently in Nyabihu District. Also on the same day, the massacres of Tutsis began in Rutsiro Commune in Tiwiye Prefecture. The killings that took place in Zaza Catholic Parish and Zaza Petit Seminaire. Zaza Parish is one of the first Catholic parishes in Rwanda taken as a home of intelligence due to high number of schools around it mainly built by Catholic Church and other theologians. Yet, it did not preclude the accommodation of the divisions and ideologies of Tutsi hatred. During the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi on April 8, 1994, the massacres began in daylight in Zaza Parish. On April 9 and 10, 1994, heavy attacks on Tutsis who had taken refuge in the parish killed many Tutsis and seriously injured many others using traditional weapons, guns and grenades. On April 11th, 1994, the rest of the victims of the attacks on the parish fled to Zaza Seminary and that day no attacks were directed to them. On April 12th and 13th, 1994, Inherami entered the seminary and killed the refugees dumping their bodies in the school's water tank. On April 19th, 1994, those who had taken refuge at the health center were taken from the hospital to be killed outside. These were the key dates on which the massacres of many Tutsis who had fled to the parish, the seminary, and the health center took place. Others were killed in rural areas in various locations where they were seeking refuge. On April 27th and 28th, 1994, the Ingo were able to rescue those who were hiding in the bushes and elsewhere. It was on May 2nd, 1994, when the Ingo forces took them to Kabarondo to protect them, treat their wounds, comfort them, and bring them back to normal life. The Zaza Memorial is home to more than 12,000 Tutsi bodies from Bujesera, Gashanda, Karembo, and Zaza sector. At the forefront of the massacres of Tutsis buried at Zaza Memorial are the following. Member of Parliament, Jamobandi Jambosko, Burgumestre of Mujesera Commune, Gakwale Leonard, Thomas Njendahimana, the manager of Bank Populaire and former communal police, Prominent in Hirami, including Nyinamubande and many others. Thank you for listening to another episode of Kwibuka Podcast. As always, make sure you leave us a review, sharing what you like about the podcast, and share with others who would be interested in listening. <laughs>